Whether you love extraction games or you want them to die, I'm here today to give you some statistics as well as my thoughts on what's going on in the extraction game industry. How's it going, everybody? My name is Magneti. Welcome to the Mothership, your go-to extraction news source for Ascendant, Hawked, Dead Drop, and Arc Raiders, at least for now. So, what the fuck is going on with the extraction game genre? Well, with Escape from Tarkov and Hunt Showdown still being basically the only everlasting games in the extraction game genre, that can definitely say a lot. With great games like The Cycle Frontier and Hyenas dying off, it may seem like it's time to give up hope for a good extraction game outside of EFT and Hunt. But if you are anything like me, then you always try to keep your eyes on the horizon. And believe me, by God, I am trying my damnedest to keep my head up, and it ain't easy. There have been some pretty shitty extraction games released over the last year, and I mean shitty. <laughs> it has been rough. Well, there's always a bright side though, right? No, not always, but in this case, there just might be one, and I'm hoping for one, that's for sure. There are a considerably large amount of extraction games in development, and if you have any friends or any other games to play while you wait for other extraction games to be developed and finished and released, it might not be a bad idea to just not quite yet give up on the genre in a wholesome way. Games like Project Quarantine or Beautiful Light, and as well as even Bungie likely to flop game Marathon and maybe even Arc Raiders. You know, those are just some of the games that are currently in development that you could look forward to as of right now. If you're into extraction games like me, I personally wouldn't lose all hope just quite yet. Who knows? Like I said, even Arc Raiders, maybe it won't let us down. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> so, what should you expect from the extraction game genre in general? Well, if you haven't noticed already, a shitload, and I mean an absolute shitload of developers, are hopping on this sort of invisible hype train of the extraction game genre. I don't really know why, but, you know, this development hype seems to be have started, and a lot of games are being made, and it's like not a lot of them are good. Not a lot of them are good. Quite a few of the games that have been released are either completely dead, basically dead, or slowly dying. Games like Marauders, Hawked, and Star Siege, none of those games have made anything outstanding in the extraction game genre, like Escape from Tarkov kind of revolutionized the genre and created it, and then, you know, Dark and Darker came out and was like, fuck, this is a medieval take on this, we really fucking like this, this is gold, this is good shit. So currently, our best bet at this point in time is to just hope that some sort of small development team, like the ones that made Dark and Darker, can craft up something new, unique, and fun, whereas things like Bungie making Marathon, or the developers behind Arc Raiders, I can't remember, their old DICE developers, can't remember their names, but like, we just gotta hope to God, or gods, in my case, that it is going to happen, that it's just, you know, let's just, let's just hope, let's just hope, okay? Let's have a little bit of hope and pray that it's gonna work out, okay? But in my opinion, this genre is dying. Dark and Darker, EFT, and Hunt will likely be the only games that make it out alive in this genre, unfortunately. But if we look back just about two years ago, that is basically what happened with Battle Royales. Probably even a little bit more than two years ago, maybe even three. Thing Games like PUBG, Fortnite, and Apex, those are really the only quote-unquote indies that made it out alive. I say quote-unquote indies because they're not really indie games anymore. They're pretty much mainstream, hardcore, well-developed games, and Apex really isn't even an indie game as made by Respawn, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, I digress. So those games made it out alive of the Battle Royale genre, and then COD came in and shat on it like the fucking bitches they are, but that's a discussion for another day. All in all... This genre was bound for success, in my honest opinion, but it seems like absolutely no one can fucking get it right. So let's hope, again, that we aren't let down with some of these up-and-coming extraction games like Arc Raiders, Marathon, Project, Quarantine, and Beautiful Light. And I most certainly will see you there in those games, if they're good. If you enjoy this kind of content, leave a subscribe down below so I can provide you with more. Now, uh, hopefully the statistical data shown to you in the background was good enough because this is not a video to talk all about everything going on. I just wanted to give you a little bit of my opinion and show you the charts and graphs of all these games fucking dying. So, other than that, stick around for possibly more extraction game news. Who the fuck knows what I'm doing in the future? We'll talk again real soon. Peace.